name is Dana Church, and I'm going to show you today how to paint glass ball ornaments. First of all, what you have to do is go out and get your glass balls, and you know, they are pretty readily available. It was a little bit harder this year for me to find one where I was going, but I'm sure you can find them around. They're just clear glass balls like this. Um, and they are getting pretty popular. I found a few other ones that were already pre-made, and I was going to just tell you a little bit how you could do that as well. But if you want to just start from scratch with one, um, just go ahead and buy it. And then what you're going to do, there's two other things you can do first. Let me show you what you might need besides the glass ball. Um, you can use regular acrylic paint. That's fine. But there are glass paints out now. They're, they're especially for glass. They're enamel. So you can get these at the same place that you get the glass balls. If you want to make sure that it maybe holds on longer and sticks longer, you want, want to use this, this kind of paint. So I have three colors here, green, gold, and um, red for Christmas. So you get that, you got your brush, and then what you want to do just to begin with to make sure that the paint sticks better is you want to take some alcohol and probably use a cotton swab or, or whatever, a paper towel is fine, cotton swab might be better. I've already done this, but you go around the ball and you just clean it. Basically, you're just trying to remove any debris or something that would make the paint not stick to the surface. So you do that, let that dry a little bit. Now, I mean, basically all you do at this point is you paint just like you would paint anything else. Sometimes I'll take my paints and I'll put them on a, a piece of tinfoil like this and get my water ready. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. I did find a few little tiny stencils and I actually laid this stencil on here and taped it down and paint it around it because people who maybe don't feel so secure about their painting or drawing, you could go ahead and get it on there ahead of time. And then maybe you can just find little pictures that you want to use to help you or maybe that you have an example that somebody else has already done that you've seen. So all you do basically is you do it just like you would do acrylic paint. You have to be a little um, particular with this because, you know, it is a slick surface. So I've already done this, so I'm just going to go on top of this a little bit. It might actually be a good idea to go put a second coat on. And you're just trying to get it as smooth as you can. And you're not doing anything differently, um, more different really than you would do when, if you were painting paper. So you go ahead and do that. And what you can do too is you know, write things on it that are personalized. That's what makes it so neat. I think that's why people do the glass balls a lot. And then of course, the cool thing too, I didn't get into this, but just as an additive, you can even put fun stuff in there too. A lot of people are really into that. So that's really it. That's how you paint it. That's how you prepare it and get it ready to paint. And that's how to paint a glass ball ornament.